Welcome back. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy, who was also the interim head of NASA, announced expedited plans this week to build a nuclear reactor on the moon as part of a new aged space race. Listen. We're in a race to the moon, in a race with China to the moon. And uh, to have a, a base on the moon, we need energy. We've spent hundreds of million dollars studying can we do it. We are now going to move beyond studying, and we are going, we have given direction to go. Let's start to deploy our technology to move to actually make this a reality. Derek Pitts joins me now. He is the chief astronomer and planetarium director for the Franklin Institute. He is also a NASA solar system ambassador. Derek, I'm so glad you're with me. I'm not a subject expert. You are. But what I've read says this is not science fiction. We can do this. Help my audience understand the how we would do it and the why it's necessary or why it might be necessary. Well, the reason why it might be necessary is because if we're going to establish a base on the moon, he's right, we are going to need energy. And as it turns out, one of the prized locations on the moon is a region around the South Pole where the shadows in craters allows for large deposits of ice. And that ice, of course, hydrogen and oxygen combined, can be used to, uh, to produce the oxygen that we need to survive there. It can be used to produce rocket fuels. It can be used to produce, produce a number of different substances that will allow us to actually establish a successful base. So that's a prime location. But the actual idea of generating energy or having a strong energy source would be a nuclear energy source. Now, it's not going to be an easy thing to do because we first have to build a nuclear reactor that's of a size that can be transported to the moon. And we also have to figure out how to get it there and how to operate it on the surface. There were studies at the federal level for a 40 kilowatt reactor. It is now being described as something aspirational, 100 kilowatt. How much bigger, how much harder would that be? Well, you know, if we're going to double the size of the output, we're certainly going to have to multiply up a number of things. Number one, we have to multiply up the supply source that's going to provide the power for the nuclear reactor. We have to also figuring, figure out what the cooling system is going to be for this. And we have to figure out all of the other infrastructure that goes around a plant. So the bigger we make it, the more complicated it's going to be. One of the other factors I mentioned just a moment ago, Major, is that we also have to figure out how we're going to get it there. Right now, we do not have a rocket that can lift the payload of that size out to the moon. So we have to get a rocket together that can do that. Then we have to design this nuclear power system in such a way that it can fit on the rocket, be transported. And then we have to design it also in such a way that it can be assembled by a team of astronauts on the moon. So we have to think of the idea of the one-sixth gravity of the moon as well, because that will also complicate both the uh, assembly, the construction, and the operation there. The stories talk about uh, a goal of the early 2030s. Listening to you just now, Derek, that sounds really, really ambitious, almost comically so. Well, you know what, Major, you're right. That's the word that I've been using all afternoon, ambitious. We're talking about five years from now, four and a half years from now, really, because we're halfway through 2025, so it's got to happen quick. Now, the way I'm thinking of this is, do we have crews in training for this yet? Not that I know of. Do we have a rocket system that can lift this object to the moon? Uh, I don't think so. Do we have any of the infrastructure already built on the moon to support this once it would get there? Not yet. So I'd say it really is an ambitious challenge to think that we could possibly do this by 2030. Remember, we first have to get humans back to the moon in any substantive form just to begin with. And supposedly, that would happen by 27. So if we think we're going to put a nuclear reactor on the moon by 30, we have to work really quickly. And I thank you for your time. Derek Pitts, a pleasure.